past 5 alarm clock rang it was early morning 4 am in next 5 minutes the study room was lit and occupied by me and geeta i was doing 12th standard and geeta 10th standard we both slowly grew the habit of getting up in such early morning and study since our home was holding two public board examinations in the same year veera was very careful in most of the matters particularly television our television it has a big history behind that usually in normal days veera never had allowed anyone to watch movies on tv during the childhood days chennai doordarshan used to broadcast a tamil movie at 5:30 pm in every evening of sundays whenever veera was not home the entire family would enjoy the movie each sitting in their comfortable places but unfavorably if he happened to sit along with us to watch movie every one would pray to god that the hero must not come near the heroine there shouldn't be any duet songs or kissing scenes in one of such movies the villain was chasing the heroine after a long run the heroine entered into an old bungalow the villain followed her locked the door inside and turned to her she was there on the floor fallen down dragging herself back and saying no please no that was the limit for veera to allow the family to watch the movie he stood up angrily pushing the chair back vigorously creating a mini earthquake appa he is not the villain he is that heroine's father he is going to kill her not going to stuck up at the end geeta tried to stop her father she was a first standard student then lakshmi had already been expecting this and starting to run inside the kitchen knowing what would happen next veera almost ran towards the tv switched it off and unplugged i miss saying this the television we had during our childhood was a black and white one the set was having a door in two flaps Veera would in these circumstances shut the door of the television thundery on hearing which all of us his children would shatter our study room within a fraction of second like lightning no one would be able to hear his shouting for the next 10 minutes his voice would be in high pitch and full of anger he would scold the director hero heroine and the whole crew of that movie using filthy words but he never bothered or had known that a filthy language would affect his children and his final line of the shouting would typically be the following if anybody asks me permission to watch the movie from here on i will peel his skin and clip it in the hanger then he would sit on his chair wear his spectacles and start reading the hindu newspaper i remember what happened the consecutive sunday evening lakshmi had started pestering geeta right from the morning to ask permission from veera for the evening movie it was her favorite movie sumai tangi casting gemini ganesan and directed by stridhar but geeta utterly refused it amma i cannot said geeta Finishing the nap after the lunch, Veera woke us up all and asked us to have a face wash and snacks, including Geeta. Everyone was expecting that Veera might open the TV and allow us to watch the movie since that was an old movie and that there wouldn't be much of touching touching scenes. Finishing the last sip of the coffee, Veera announced, "All right, everyone take your books and start studying. Go go. That's all." We understood that was it. We all sat down on the floor in our study room. Author's note Those days we didn't have study table or any furniture in our study room. It was just an empty room for us to sit down on the floor and to study. And another information I need to include here, one of Veera's siblings, her name is Rajati, she will be introduced in the story after a few pages, sent her kids to Madurai to Veera's house for the education. Those kids, Geeta's cousins named Satya and Raman, were also caught in this prison accidentally for almost 3 years totally six kids were sitting in the edges of the floor holding a book in our hand pretending we were studying honestly not even a single word from that book was entering in our brain 5:30 pm all of us heard the sound of tv from our neighbor houses satya signaled me to go and ask veera i alluded no then she turned to geeta geeta folded her hands <laughs> and put her head down again satya turned back to me and pleaded even i wanted to watch the movie so i decided to accept satya's request and slowly stood up closed the book and walked towards veera He was sitting in the living room holding the key of the shut locked television and reading the newspaper. 
Before reaching Veera, I turned back and saw everyone in study room. Geeta was expressing, don't dare do that, da. Satya and Raman were signaling me to go further. Mayil was with no expression seeing me. He was then a kindergarten student. Saranya was two year old, playing quietly in the same room, scribbling in a notebook. I, holding the breath, reached Veera and said, Appa. He, from the newspaper, turned his face to me. Hmm, said he. Sumaitangi, please. I stretched the voice. Next second, the pitch of the voice of Veera threw me back into the study room like I got electrocution and I fell down biting my book. The next three hours went pin drop silence with total wastage of time since none of the content from the books entered in the brain for any of us kids. Following those days, Veera had started locking the television and would take the key to his office. But Lakshmi, in daytime, used to open the door using her hairpin and would close the door back so knack that even Veera couldn't find any difference in the TV position. But unfortunately, all the good programs were in the night time when Veera would be home. Veera would never open the TV until we all had slept. Switching off all the lights, slowly Veera would open the TV and watch all alone. But we guys were more brilliant than him that we would cover our complete body from head to toe with a bed sheet and turn to the direction of the TV and open only our eye area and continue watching the movie till he switched it off. This technique was taught to us by Lakshmi. In later years, Veera bought new televisions but he never slackened his restrictions towards us in watching TV. We all got used to that and adjusted to his loss. Is it possible to imagine such a man to allow watching the TV during the academic year when two of his children were to appear for public board examinations? We started getting up by 4 o'clock in the morning right from the starting of this academic year. Veera's children were always scared of imagining the result releasing day only for facing their father with that result. They never were worried about their future, about their school, shame among their friends etc. But Veera. I was doing 12th standard in 1997, but I must write here about my 10th standard result releasing day. It was in 1995. One week prior to this day, Veera called me to his room. Sit down, he said, and I did, in a chair opposite to him. He was having a scribbling pad opened, a pen in his hand, and a calculator in left hand. Next to that calculator were there all my personal papers I wrote for my 10th standard final examinations. <clears throat> Tell me how much mark you will get on Tamil exam, he said. What? He saw my face. Did you hear what I said? I thought for a while and got ready to say a number. Do you want to go through your question paper for calculating the marks? He suggested. I shook my head. Then say how much mark you will score in Tamil language subject. Like this, he pulled out all the marks from my own mouth and added up all the marks. I swallowed my saliva because all the marks I said were 100, 99, 97, etc. Good. So you are saying you will score 470 out of 500, right? He said seeing the calculator. I didn't know if I had to nod my head or to pray God to rewind my life just 5 minutes back. Alright, then you will be one of the state rankers. Good. Go. He said. I just wanted to escape from that moment for which I had built such a huge sabotage bombard pointing towards myself. The entire week before the result was released, Veera used to stand in the middle of our street and speak to all our neighbors in a typical copper voice. Do you know that my son has confirmed his score 470 in his exam? He would say standing in the middle of the road to the whole street. I would sit inside and close my ears tightly, not hearing his advertisement. 